So, how often do you change your under trousers? Your t-shirt? How often do you shower? Well, you also have to clean your instrument, you know? And I show you how the whole thing works and what you should do on what violin makers have to do. Soon I show you all the details which are really interesting regarding this matter. Hello, hello, back again. This is Edgar Roos from Cremona, Italy. I'm a violin maker and I don't throw every time a violin from the Po River Bridge. Today we talk about how to clean and keep your instrument clean and nice. To do that, we actually wanted only to keep things very clean, but we have to go a little bit more into detail. So first I will show you what is the polishing of the varnish that it is nice and how it looks like when it's new. And this is the part which violin makers do. And then I will tell you for all musicians how they can keep the instrument very easy clean. And without that, it is tracting the dirt too easy. And I have certainly a very nice product, which I show you at the very end. I will tell you why I think that this is super good for you. Come on, this is just violin making. That means while we are varnishing and we put on one layer after another, and at a certain point when we have enough varnish on top of it, we sandpaper the instrument. To get it ready, you have different options. This one has been polished yesterday and we explained exactly how it should be done. And this is the result by now, which means that a sandpaper opaque surface after it has been varnished, all these tiny scratches scratches have to be filled up with the varnish and polished. What I just want to show you here is on one side the jar with shellac solved in alcohol. So I have a small jar of shellac. We have a tank of alcohol which we put in a small here and we have here furniture oil which you get here for two euro or something and we put it on a small one here. This is a little bit a kind of French polish. It's basically many thin layers of shellac. In the past this was used from violin makers and then it was from the makers even passed over to musicians and that's why you are now a little bit insecure and I want to go a little bit into the details so that you know why you shouldn't touch all that because you are not a maker and as long as you're not a maker you have to know what it is what we're talking about if I would now put with the rag the shellac on top of it passed over the varnish you fill up these tiny scratches with some shellac just a little bit to make it a flat surface again in order that it becomes shiny again there is alcohol inside which would solve the varnish it would would stick the rag on your varnish and it would be a disaster. So the maker, in order that it doesn't become a disaster, they put some oil from this one. Once we finish polishing, and that's the job of the violin maker, we won't use a cotton rag anymore. We use a cotton rag to polish because the cotton is slightly abrasive for you, musician, not good. All what I have showed you, put it aside. Instead of a cotton fabric, we take a microfiber cloth, okay? Papa, yes. We always do like this, you know. I love the most the ones with my name on it. If you find one with your name, great. Otherwise, take one with my name. It's just great. The Koreans are the best microfiber cloth makers. No sewing around that would just somehow damage the varnish. We don't want that. This one has the ability to be super gentle, just like Edgar's gentle instrument cleaner. I'll tell you what's inside. There is no solvent, no alcohol. There is a little bit of oil at the very end, which lasts on it. And instead of shellac, there is some wax inside. So when you get it, it's getting divided and there is oil and wax inside so before using you have to shake it a little bit and then you can put a tiny part of it on your microfiber cloth and then you can actually put it on your instrument and you immediately have this great satisfaction that the instrument is yelling you can leave it even on it doesn't make any problem it's wax based and you can work it in your varnish and takes off dirt rosin moisture the great 
thing of this polish is that it leaves a little bit, a thin, thin layer of some oil on the varnish, which prevents the surface to be attacked by the rosin, which comes from the bow. And the rosin, this tiny, fine powder is a little bit like sugar. It comes down, it attaches and attracts even the dirt and then it becomes just a collection of all the dirt you're collecting from all over. It's just common sense that it is nice to have a clean instrument. The combination of microfiber cloth and this Edgar's Gentle Instrument Cleaner is a great solution to treat your instrument regularly, not every day, but at least once a week, you should pass it over and you prevent that it's getting too quick, dirty and ugly. There's just super nice. Mm. Thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs>